Hello. So today's video is a tag. I haven't done one of these on my channel before, but this is the do I have that trope challenge tag. Um, and it was created by Robbie over at and is no stuck in a book. I will leave his channel linked below. And this is really fun. So I have watched Robbie's and I've also watched Becca at Becca in the Books. And <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> so this is not all of my books. I have a small bookcase there, two small bookcases there. And I also have my book cart there. Um, <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. The camera's only going to be on this part because I'm not moving it like you get this part and then you can hear me struggle when I have to go over to those ones. But there are only two rules for this. You can only use a book once, like for one, one prompt. And if you don't have a book for one of the tropes, you have to add a minute to your time. So the time to be is Robbie's and he did this in seven minutes and 20 seconds. So I have the, I screenshotted from Robbie's video, the prompts. And we're going to do this. I've got this horrible feeling that the dog's going to start barking whilst I'm doing this. So we're going to ignore that if that happens. Because once I hit the timer, I'm not going to be able to edit bits out. So if the dog does start barking, I apologise in advance. But I am waiting for delivery. And if it comes, she gone bark. So. Let's do this. Oh God, this is it's not going to go well. So we've got the stopwatch. Am I ready for this? This is going to be painful. <laughs> I'm going to trip at some point. Right. Start. So the first one is Love Triangle or Love V, a book featuring a character with two love interests. Ah, no, candles are not candles away. Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. The second one is Enemies to Lovers, a book featuring two characters that begin as enemies and then it turns into love or lust balls. Nope. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Number three, The Chosen One, a book featuring a character destined to save everyone in the world. Magisterium series by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. Number four, Found Family, a book showing characters creating a chosen family from friends and those closest to them. Aurora Burning by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman. Five, Grey Morality, a book featuring characters that don't appear either good or bad. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Six, competitions, games or tournaments, a book featuring one of these as a core element directly involving the characters. Is it the third book? Conjuring of Light by V. Schwab, I think. Um, seven, sibling rivalry, a book that contains siblings pit against each other. Oh, um, <laughs> River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. They have to fight each other to the death. Eight, Revenge Plot, a book that contains a character or characters whose motivation is fueled by revenge. Got it. And I'm knocking everything over. Never Not by Jay Kristoff. Nine, Here Comes the Cavalry, a book that just when your protagonist is going to lose, here comes the unexpected help. I want to... Caught Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Mass. Number 10, The Dark Lord, a book containing a character who appears to be doing evil for evil's sake. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. <laughs> uh, 11, The Orphaned Protagonist, a book featuring a character whose parents are either dead before or at the beginning of a book. Oh no. Oh no. Why has my brain just gone blank? Oh no. 
Ah. No. What? What one? Hmm. Set fire to the gods by Sarah Rush and Kristen Simmons. <sighs> Number 12, The Quest, a book featuring the main protagonist going on a journey for a particular goal. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Number 13, Friends to Lovers, a book featuring two characters who have a friend dynamic who eventually develop a romance. The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenzetter. Number 14, The Book Loving Character, a book featuring a character who loves reading books. Throne of Glass for Sarah J Maas. Number 15, Amnesia, a book featuring a character, normally the protagonist, who suffers from amnesia. Oh, easy. And I have four copies of this book to choose from. The Invisible Life of Addie Laurie by B.E. Schwab. There's the dog barking. Number 16, Magic School, a book featuring a school setting of the magical variety. Oh, a Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. Number 17, the bad boy character, a book featuring a character who is bad or brooding, acting character most commonly paired with a sad or tragic backstory. Oh, can't get some more paperback. Oh, that is. Did you say Jace Herondale? Sit your bones. Um, number 18, Resurrection, a book that features a character who thought you thought was dead, but is back, back, back again. This is a spoiler, I'm sorry. <laughs> King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. Um, 19, Redemption Arc, a book featuring a character who was previously a bad, evil character who wants to change. Crap, I used the one I was going to. Oh no. Oh my god, I used the one that... I could have used the Cruel Prince. Redemption Arc, come on, there must be another Redemption Arc one. Come on. Oh, Wayward Son by Rainbow Rowell. Um, and number 20, Forbidden Love or Romance, a book featuring a romance that can't work. Oh. <sighs> Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. That's all of them. Stop. Five minutes and 48 seconds. I think I got all of them. Right, I'm gonna go through them now and double check. And if I have got any of them wrong, I'll have to add a minute to my time. But that is a good one if I do manage it. Okay, so Love Triangle, Clockwork Prince Works. Enemies to Lovers, Cruel Prince Works. The Chosen One, Magisterium Series Works. Found Family, Aurora Rising Works. Grey Morality, Six of Crows Works. The competitions, tournaments or games, Conjuring of Lightworks. I am pretty sure this is the one. I think it's the second book that, it's a gathering of shadows, isn't it? I think it's the gathering of shadows. Do you know what? I'm gonna take it because it is the same series, but a gathering of shadows has the tournament. Sibling rivalry, this works. Revenge plot, this works. <laughs> Here comes the cavalry, spoiler, but this works. The Dark Lord, this works. It is so hot in my room. <laughs> the orphaned, orphaned protagonist, this works. Uh, the Quest, this works. Friends to Lovers, Book Loving Character, Amnesia, Magic School. <laughs> did I do this? I think I did it. Ah. Bad Boy Character, Jay Serendale direction redemption arc baz does essentially get a redemption arc in this and forbidden love i did it five minutes and 48 seconds and even if even if i just want to say this even if you want to add make me add a minute for the games tournaments one because i picked up a conjuring of light and not a gathering of shadows i've still beat robbie's time because that would add it to six minutes and 48 seconds i'm really happy with that i think it helps that i know where all my books are 
I, I don't move them around often so I know where they are that was really fun <laughs> I'm not going to tag anyone in particular because I think the people that I would tag have already been tagged. Um, so <laughs> yeah, if you want to do this, just do it. But go watch Robbie's as well and Becca's. I will leave them linked below. And thank you, Robbie, for <laughs> thank you, Robbie, for tagging me. I <laughs> didn't fall over, which was surprising i didn't have to go over to that bookcase either like i just went to those two the book cart and then these and now i've got to get the books back on and i did knock over something <laughs> so yeah i i knocked over my mia funko because it was in front of my never night oh well it's fine <laughs> but yeah so that was my attempt at it i hope you enjoyed seeing me get out of breath because it is so goddamn hot in my room and I might have to tie my hair back completely because this is too much but yes I'm wearing a Christmas top as well do not judge me and Christmas earrings so that was my my very good attempt at the do I have that trope challenge tag so if you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.